And welcome to another edition of the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com where it is always prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Make sure to subscribe right now as I bring you all the latest backstage news, rumors, headlines, gossip, speculation, previews, reviews, commentaries, and all the latest backstage stories as it concerns WrestleMania. Now, I said a couple days ago that I would be bringing you news on WrestleMania, the latter match in the Intercontinental title. That's exactly what I'm going to do in this very episode. According to the web websites, the dirt sheets, the newsletters, you know the drill here on Sean's View Entertainment. WWE.com has announced that Luke Hopper and Dean Ambrose are now official for the WWE Intercontinental title match, which will be a ladder match at WrestleMania 31. The match now consists of confirmed combatants, Bad News Barrett, R-Truth, Dean Ambrose, and Luke Hopper. It is also expected that Dolph Ziggler will be added in along with Daniel Bryan. However, the WWE is still weighing their options with Daniel Bryan as well as Sheamus. It's worth noting, and this is the significant development, that a graphic on WWE's website has just two empty spots remaining. We won't spoil it here, but the correspondence at last night's SmackDown taping sent word that no matter what happened at the end of the tapings, the impression was given that there will be just five or six superstars in the match. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to put more eyes on the prize. This is going to be one of the greatest intercontinental title ladder matches in history. Razor Ramon in uh the Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels, they set the bar at an all-time high. They raised the bar at WrestleMania 10 in that iconic ladder match, the boy toy and the bad guy. But you know what? We have seen the evolution. We have seen the transformation of the ladder match. And now with all the pride, the glory, the respect, the honor, the prestige, with everything that is on the line and everything that is at stake at WrestleMania, this match has to be given at least 25 minutes. Now I know come the night, WrestleMania is a stacked card. And as much as I can't wait for Sting versus Triple H, that match should not be given more time than the Intercontinental title ladder match. Because you want to talk about boosting up the value of a title that has lost so much momentum and so much uh, speed over the last several years. This is where the Intercontinental title could have one of the greatest noteworthy moments in WrestleMania history. Make no mistake about it. So as always here on Sean Entertainment, it's interactive, it's prolific, it's consistent, it's smash mouth and it's in your face. I want your comments. I want your opinions. I want you to let me know who should win this match. How many minutes should these guys get in this contest to show what they're all about and be the proving ground, the base for WrestleMania because it's all about that base, about that base, no trouble, it's all about.